Hey, good morning. It's Jan. Welcome to another episode of No Frills Video. These are very short videos. No, not a minute, but longer than that, but definitely not past five minutes. How are you doing today? I want to talk to you today about batch cooking. Sometimes I think, sometimes people get overwhelmed when they hear the term batch cooking and, and they, they have visions of, of spending like eight or 10 hours in the kitchen. Now, anyone could do that by choice because they want to. Now, a week from today, on the instant coffee with Jan show, I will explain to you what happened to me happenstance, but it turned out to be a really good thing in terms of a meal prepping and meal planning. So mark that on your mental calendar for a week from today, next Monday. But I want to talk to you today about my opinion about something. Sometimes people uh, like I said, they get this negative image of, oh my goodness, batch cooking. It's going to be this all day long, you know, horrible experience. No, number one, it's how you look at it. I look at it this way. I could take a slow cooker. I could take two separate slow cookers if I wanted to and make two separate meals. Okay. Just saying, just saying, this is if I wanted to. And I understand that some slow cookers today, you can actually they have a division in it if you want to make two different meals, which is really cool. But I'm just saying, I could just set that up in a matter of minutes, okay? Two separate slow cookers with two separate meals. And I could let that do its thing for a few hours and it is done. Just imagine that I got a whole bunch of quantity. Let's say in one of the slow cookers, I wanted to make a veal stew, just saying, just saying. So that would be in one slow cooker and that would make a number of nights for me. Okay. Meals and that, just one action, one action. And let's say in the other slow cooker, I just happen to want to have a chicken soup or roast a chicken. There, there are ways, and there are ways you could do all that in your slow cooker. These things are going on two separate meals simultaneously. My life doesn't stop while it's doing its thing. I still get to do whatever else I want to do throughout the day. This is why I'm saying I think that sometimes uh, people misunderstand things. Or for example, let's say that you want to make sure that you don't spend money on outside lunch. A great way to do that is to plan ahead. Now for me, the launching pad day of the week, for me, everyone's life is different. Everyone's launching pad day is different. What do I mean by launching pad? For me, my launching pad day is a Sunday. On Sunday, I assess after I, you know, do my faithful stuff first thing in the morning, that's first. Then I assess my week ahead and say, well, what can I do to simplify this week? Will I have all my laundry ready, all my clothes clean? Yes, that is something I like to do. Are there things that I could do? Maybe I want to chop up vegetables today and put them away and it is done. Yes, everyone has their own thing. So if you take a day like that, and let's call it your launching pad day and assess what can you do to streamline your work week. And even if you're not employed, even if you're like, you know, per se, you have other things you want to do with your life. So maybe you just want to have things ahead of time. Personally, I don't see the big deal about it, but that's by doing that specific method. Now, if I'm going to do other complicated methods, maybe that might take more time. It's all how you do it. I am not going to plan a batch cooking day if I'm in like a, if my mind is elsewhere or if my mood is not good. To me, that is not a good day to do it. Do it when you want to do it willfully and wantingly. But what I like to do is keep my eye on the prize because my eye on the prize is that I'm going to save a lot of mess, time, effort, and energy. That's how I feel about it. Everybody is different. Let me know how you feel about it on this no frills video in the comment section. I hope to be back on camera, hopefully tomorrow. It all depends. Um, hope to see you tomorrow and have an amazing, fantastic day nonetheless. And I hope you got this message and the message is simple. It's really not that big of a deal. It's all how we approach the issue. What says you? Let me know in the comment section below. Have a great day, everybody.